Wanna make this tire bus mark or skid mark effect in Blender? So let's get started. First, delete the default cube and import your rig car model. Then I've gone ahead and made this scene with a very basic car skid or drift animation. Now select the ground, go to the physics tab, click on dynamic paint, set the type to canvas and click on add canvas. Then change the format to image sequence, resolution to 2048 and set the sub step to max value 20. After that, expand the output, choose your desired catch path and select the UV map. Also make sure the paint map is enabled. Now select one of the car tire, make sure it is slightly deep into the ground, then back to the physics Tire, click on dynamic paint, set the type to brush and click on add brush. Do the same for the other tires. Once you are done with all the dynamic paint setting, select the ground plane again. Back in the physics tab, under output, click on bake image sequence. It will take 5 to 10 minutes depending on the system performance. Once it bake, go to the shader editor panel, click on new to create a new material. Then press shift A, add image sequence node, locate the image sequence path, use as bake, select all the images and click import image sequence. After that, place the node here and enable auto refresh. Then press shift A, add a mix color node, connect the result to the base color of principal BHDF node. Node. Next, connect the alpha to the factor and the color output to the B socket of mix color node. As soon as you do that, you will see the tire marks appear on the ground plane. If you change the A color, it will adjust the ground plane color. And if you disconnect the B color socket, you can change the skid mark color directly like this. Now hit play to see the animation in action. If you notice a gap between the marks, that probably due to speed. Blender doesn't have enough frame to catch all the contact points. To fix this, just increase the frame count and the FPS value. Set the time limit from 120 frames to 1200 and change the frame rate from 30 FPS to 240 FPS. Then adjust your animation accordingly. Once you have adjusted everything, go back to the physics tab, select your catch path again and make sure the end frame matches your timeline's end frame. Then click on bake image sequence. Once it bake, go back to the shader editor panel, click on this cross to remove the previous sequence, then load your new image sequence and you're done. The gap has been fixed. Now hit play to see the final skid mark animation in action. For the final render, I have created this simple scene. For the road, I have used this basic procedural road texture node setup. For the world lighting, here's the basic node setup. Then go to render properties, expand the color management, Set the view transform to Chronos PBR neutral and look to medium high contrast. Next, head to the computer editor panel and here's the final load setup I'm using. Lastly, I have also reused the smoke simulation we made in the previous video. And that's it, you're done. Your tire bus mark or skid mark using the easy dynamic paint effect is ready to render in Blender. Follow Art of Week for more.